All right, now we're coming to uh, build the contraption that fits under the turret and make it all work. This is a very interesting exercise. I started a video on this and then I've thrown it away because I've changed all my ideas. But that's what scratch building is all about. You, you come up with an idea and you work it out as you go along. So I'm pretty happy with this. This is working very nicely indeed. So let me tell you how we did it. All right, <clears throat> so as you can see from there, if we're looking down on the deck here, the first thing that I wanted to do was to center exactly where the fulcrum of the turret is going to be. Put a hole through here and then put another hole slot like that around it, which is where the elevation uh, arm is going to go, and that's going to turn with the whole thing. Once I've done that, the next thing to do was to um, fit under it a piece of perspex, which is going to fit quite broadly under it. Then, once I've done that, I was going. I decided I was going to cut a slot in here. But the slot had to ensure that um, I could put a screw in here and a screw in here and reach it past the turret. Then I bolted this up underneath so that it was sitting underneath. Removed that central piece out. So I'll show you this down here, and then recreated the slot, but instead of all the way across, it was only that much, so that in fact I could put a screw down through here and into that, into that space. Then also continued to put the slot in there and the rest of the groove, and that was all in uh, two mil perspex. Once that's done, I'm just tacking these things together with screws because I'm going to use acrylic glue on there to hold all of these things together in the end. But the issue is I want a system so that I can just undo a couple of screws and pull everything out. Very important to be able to do that because you have to fix things once they go wrong. Not sure, not saying they're going, but they probably will. Okay. Okay, so this is the deck, this is the slot that we've cut into the deck, this is the central hole for the fulcrum, this is the hole that goes round in a semicircle, here is the acrylic, I've cut that on the inside and that's where that's going to get screwed on, um, and that's, that's the first step. This obviously now goes up into the base of the turret and what I actually did because it's all removable I, I super glued that in I don't want to necessarily move it but this is quite fine rod that runs through here so I have to make a main shaft that's going to turn the turret and the way I did this was to use a piece of uh, brass it's um, it is in fact 3mm, or a bit more than 3mm, I think it's 3.1, not, not exactly sure. Then I drilled in the top a little slot which is going to take the uh, finer material, the finer rod that goes down there. Then I made out of brass a little connector. On the inside of that there is a hole that will fit the top of this. And above that, there is a hole that will fill the shaft, that will take the shaft down from the gun. And I have put into here a grub screw to pull it all together. Now what this does, of course, is it gives me some flexibility to make this whole thing fit neatly. I can pull it up or pull it down. So the next part, then, is to add some perspex arms to either side of this that descend 
into the boat. <laughs> it's actually only two mil thick. Don't worry about my terrible drawing. Um, and I've also made another piece that will fit onto the bottom. Now I've made this in cahoots with the uh, with the fulcrum shaft, which runs down here. And basically, I want this to go down as deep as it can so that I can put the servo in there and it will obviously clear the base of the boat. I want the servo down as low as it, as it can be. So this will screw in um, and that's all good, but I have to think of a, way, of a way now to connect the servo onto here. So the servo that I've used is a 180 degree servo. Um, so that I get a nice turn on the turret and I put the whole thing together using small screws uh, which I'm going to replace later but this gives me the structure and then I connected this and worked out exactly where this needs to be centered in the bottom so once I've done that I took this piece of perspex, this one, and I know where the center is, that's going to have to be the center for the turning motion of the um, servo. So then I cut very carefully a slot for the servo, which included a length here so that I can easily get the, um, the wire out and I just dropped it into this and, and I spent some time filing it so that it would just sit neatly into there on its own. Remember, we're not turning sheep stations here. This is pretty easy. So I wanted to get it so that I could put the servo in here. Its little arms go on there like that. Just drop it in and then we've got the uh, servo arm mechanism on the top. So how to connect that? This is the bottom of my uh, shaft. I, I silver soldered on a piece of brass which is a good fit for the um, supplied plastic mechanism and I was thinking of complicated do ways of doing this but in the end I just put that on there with super glue. The pressure is always going down on that and if I could put the super glue right across that it was fine so then I found I could put my arm onto this and this now was a perfect fit with the top of the shaft so it was all linked together very nicely and if I turned this I was turning that quite nicely the next step then is to work out how to get this mechanism in here and once again um, I, I took it to this point without really planning and then the obvious came to me which is to glue the other servo on here using super glue. So that now goes on here. There's the rod. I uh, made a little connection between this and the, the arm and that now fits through there like that. You can see it all now how it all looks. And then I took, I, I put some glue in here and some glue in there and some glue here and here and between there and the whole thing. So that now when I want to remove this, I undo this screw and this screw and lift this out of here and it all comes out in one piece. Magic. I'm using the radio control. So we have very nice turning, um, elevation
lovely. That is magnificent.